Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with the new McFarlane Gold Label Collection Batman, uh, designed by Todd McFarlane, and in case you forgot that it was designed by Todd McFarlane, uh, you know, it says it so right there, it says so right there, so that's, that's it, that's the big Toddy Mac Batman, um, and it, you know, right away you can see the box basically looks identical to the other DC Multiverse boxes. Slightly different logo up here, and obviously the gold label collection right there. So, uh, this is one of those where when the, it was first announced and they, they showed the pictures, I was like, oh, I'm not sure about that one. Um, but seeing it in person, seeing people with pictures of it, uh, it, it actually looks, it looks pretty cool. Um, and, and, you know, you can see in the back, I, I'm a big fan of the, the DC Multiverse McFarlane figures, uh, and a lot of them I have that same sort of reaction where I see the promo pics, and it's like, you know, the Dark Knight, and I'm like, ah, you know, I, I don't, I never really read that comic, it, it doesn't do much for me, and then I see him in person, I'm like, I, I gotta get those, those are too rad to, to let them slip by. So that's, uh, that's how I ended up with this. And uh, it's a Walmart exclusive. So uh, a few days ago, it, it popped up on Walmart and said it was in stock at the store near me. So I went and uh, it wasn't there and nobody would help me go figure. So I kept coming back and eventually was able to get one. Uh, somebody helped me get it out of the back. So these might not be on shelves yet, even if it says in stock. And um, so again, the box looks just like the other ones. Here's the artwork of this Todd McFarlane design Batman on the back. And here is the UPC in, in case that does help you track it down on like Brickseek or, or, or those. So you can see they've, they've started to get with these multiverse figures instead of just have them in, in a, a pose. They're trying to get kind of cute with the way he's he's sort of, um, posed in there and it, you know, it ends up with stuff like that toe is, is pointed up. That wrist is a little wonky. Like I think his elbow is supposed to be bent more cause that's just kind of crammed in there, which makes me feel uh, kind of not great. But, uh, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open her up and here he is. He's got the same sort of printed, uh, background on the, on the package there like the others have he's he comes with a stand like all the other multiverse figures have and then he's got he's got these two gold knives and he's got these weird steampunk looking goggles um those are taped in he's zip tied in uh, let's get him out the the soft like rubber that they use and like the capes and, and stuff of these uh multiverse figures uh and the other recent mcfarland figures when you open it up it, there's something about it it, it smells like this, this rubbery material, and it reminds me of the smell of, uh, of like going through Toys R Us when you're a kid. So, when you open it up, make sure you give it a big whiff. It's okay, you smell your toys. It's it's not weird. Uh, and yet, this cape is is pushed through this hole, like like they've done with other uh, recent caped DC characters. And I'm, I mean, I'm worried about. I, I, that bothers me a lot. So I'm going to be careful not to put too much stress on this when I'm getting it out of there. So right away, it's just got, it's got heft and it's got like, he's kind of, you know, he's, he feels there's something about him that feels like big compared to you know maybe some of the other characters and some of the other sculpts. Um, he's got kind of that sort of almost Frank Miller type, um, you know, more of a an older Batman, maybe uh, not as lean. You know, he's he's barrel chested, kind of a looks like a Tom Cruise. <laughs> uh, his chest. So let's take a look at this. The, this, this, I mean, when you see it in person, it's not like, it doesn't look as bad to me as maybe the, the promo pics kind of, kind of looked. These ears are a little weird. Um, you know, they're, they're like, 
they're really tall, but they're, they've got a stubby tip instead of like a sharp point, which is a little weird, but you know, overall it's, and then, you know, the bat logo is maybe kind of big and fits on his chest in a weird way, but you know, not, not a deal breaker. He's got these pointed ends of his cape, sort of similar to the uh, Flashpoint Batman. This this cape has these weird, like I don't know why. I mean, I guess it, it looks kind of cool, but it also looks kind of like, I don't know, maybe something I would like draw when I was like six years old. I mean, maybe that's some of the some of the appeal. Some of, you know, kind of a. Kind of a, a Batman design that doesn't really, you know, feel like it needs to fit with any continuity or anything like that. Uh, I'm just messing with the feet right now. I've got the, you know, ball joints down there that we are used to from these. God, this one feels a little loosey-goosey. Uh, let's see how it is. You know, the... Classic shoulders with the butterfly that we're used to. Great range there and the bicep cut that actually, wow. That feels like some of the bicep cuts, like the way they're they're tooled, like they, they get in the way, but this actually is super smooth, which is nice. Elbow or wrist, I mean, obviously there you can see kind of this like spawn looking you know spikes on his gauntlets which is it's a it's a choice I, I i like all his packs and his pouches and stuff this sort of double belt thing with the um, you know sort of a dimensional aspect to it which i think is really cool wow nothing almost like not much range in the ab department here um, and, and his, his waist, his belt is so tight, like you can push it, but it is, um, a little inhibited. I mean, it's there, the, the range of motion's there if you want it to be, I, I don't, I don't see myself actually putting this guy in like a crazy, um, super athletic pose. I think he's just kind of gonna, you know, stand there brooding and looking cool. So I'm all right with that. He's definitely got the best bat butt of all of them i feel like that was a deliberate design choice from todd himself said hey let's make sure mine has the best butt these uh armor plates like on his leg look pretty cool this texture this fabric texture here that that's maybe the kind of it's, it's something about it looks it looks a little cheap like in person like a black wash would probably make that really pop and look rad but as it is it, it feels a little neglected like this leg looks better because it kind of has this um this pouch belt on it but double elbows but well that you know double elbows is nice except when it runs into the sculpt oh that that clears a little bit so he could he could hold some binoculars up to his head if he wanted to and I bet this one's actually got a little bit better. And a little bit better because it doesn't have that like pouch strap in it, but also but not I mean he could he could answer the phone, the bat phone if he wanted, I guess. Uh how's this head do? Does he look? Mmm, this might need some. The head. That feels a little tight. I don't know. And once you get him loosened up, I think he's got a decent range. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, actually, all right, all right. I spoke too soon. He's got some. He's got some range in there in the head. And that's pretty good. Uh, you know, some of these. Especially these elbows on these McFarlane toys, they get, they come, they want to come out a little tight, I think, in the package, and I, I worry about stressing and putting too much on them. And that one doesn't want to go. That might need a bath, which I, I'm always hesitant to do it because I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to make it, like, too loose. Um, his, 
his belt and his sculpt here kind of gets in the way of him doing like the full like John Claude Van Damme splits. Uh, front and back, kind of the same thing. He's this guy's not gonna be like the acrobat of the team. This is like I love all these details and grenades down there. It's rad. Um, the the you know and these knives right here are cool, but they they're they're rubber and they're basically just like. They're just bent kind of right out of the box, you know, because of the way his, like, thigh comes up there. It's just not, like, the worst thing in the world, but... Leaves a little bit to desire. Here we go, though. This is, this is awesome. This, like, a lot of people complain about not being thigh cuts on the McFarlane toys. But when they're sculpted right, they, they can turn like this. And it's pretty decent. Like some of some of them, they have too much down here, too much plastic, and it gets in the way of itself. I know we're looking right at his crotch, but you know, but this is this is awesome. I I, I can do without a thigh cut if if this works properly, and this one definitely has it. Double knees, double knees, pretty good. I mean, it gets all the way up there. It could, Maybe yeah, he could go a little further. He can he can kick his own butt if if you'd like to see him do that. He is willing and able to do it. <clears throat> Here's a something. This is like is that a scuff on there? Where is it? You see it? Looks like a paint. Somebody hit that with paint. Maybe if I get like a tied to go stick or something like that, I can bring that out. But it looks like a little sloppy Joe in the paint department. Uh, I mean, my, this is, I, to me, this is pretty cool. I, I think this is cooler than Flashpoint Batman, honestly, which was, which was a really a, a cool figure, but I mean, the way some people have been going crazy about the Flashpoint Batman, you'd think it was the greatest thing ever made, and I think it's like a B minus as far as these have been that's got to have a bath that is completely stuck and i'm not gonna force it uh yeah and I, I don't know like i've seen people do the custom customize uh, the articulation here where they go and pop this out and dremel um so you could probably do this and he could get kind of leaned over but again <clears throat> just the way his like stature is as kind of this more sort of bulky older Batman I just don't I, I don't see myself putting him in like really um outrageous poses so he's got these like steampunk looking goggles see how he looks with those on it's actually kind of cool it's cooler than I thought maybe a little dorky but I, it's not bad and then he's got these two gold knives like this. They're soft, softer plastic, so they are, they do, they can get a little curved there in the box, which is just, I feel like a lot of the accessories in these multiverse figures are kind of doing that where they come out a little wonky, but it's all right. And he's got these um, sheaths for his knives on the back, which, um, I mean, I think I, th I think that's cool. I, li I like those coming out of the back. Gives it a little bit of something, something else. Um, and they fit in his hand. Actually, they fit in his hand really well. See some of these multiverse uh, characters. They've got kind of generic or weird hands that don't maybe fit their uh, accessories all the time, hundred percent. But this is those those go right in, and that's smooth. And. Uh, then another thing that's bent, this soft rubber cape, you can tell it's, you know, this this side got a little bit more bent than this side. I think this is more what it's supposed to look like, and this got a little cinched here. Um, but overall, like, I would say, well, definitely exceeded expectations compared to the way it looked in the promo photos. Um, 
I'm, I'm into it. Let's let's see how he stacks up compared to maybe Grim Knight. See, he's a little taller. He, a little bit taller. See, I think that was a that was a Todd decision. He was like my the Batman I designed has to be the tallest bat. Um, there he is next to Gerald um, from the another gold label figure. He's a little taller than that. Cap here from Legends, obviously way taller because they're seven inch scale, but just to get a sense of where they fit in line with those guys. So there he is. This is a Walmart exclusive. Good luck hunting those down. Definitely not stoked about the Walmart exclusives. They make it really difficult to get. Um, and even, like I said, because I skipped the pre-order on this one because I wasn't stoked on the design. Um, and then I've seen people that are like, who have pre-ordered it and they, they canceled it because that's, I don't know, that's something that Walmart thinks is okay to do. So, uh, yeah, if you're on the fence, I, I mean, I, I feel like this is one of those, you see it in person, you're like, okay, I, that's not as, as, as ugly as I, I thought it was going to be compared to the picture. So, so you, you might be into this. Um, if you got any other questions about this, this figure or the multiverse line at all, uh, ask me a question down here and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, all right, guys. See you next time.